everyone, today I'll be sharing a little bit about my analog companions. So analog companions are my fountain pens. They have been a source of comfort and inspiration when I'm writing and they also are able to just be there with me in a notebook and really have that type of um, writing experience that has been very helpful. So those who are in the journaling or planning community know what I mean. Um, oftentimes a uh, fountain pen can feel like a companion because it's less disposable than a gel pen or a ballpoint pen where you kind of just toss around. Um, when you have a pen for a good while and you have to take care of the pen, then you start to you know, form a little bit more of a relationship with the pen. Um, so I just thought this would be a fun way to share my fountain pen collection and share a little bit of the personalities of these pens. So here I have my complete fountain pen collection. I feel like I'm at a good number right now, but you know, that's what they always say in fountain pen um, communities. Like, oh, I feel like my collection's complete. And then, you know, you see a beautiful pen. But here we go. So let me just introduce them. Uh, this is my Twisby 580. This was gifted to me by a dear friend. This is my custom 823 from Pilot. Uh, this was gifted to me from my husband. Um, this is my Vanishing Point in Decimo. And this is the Jinhao 82. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Shikiori, and this is the Muji Aluminum Fountain Pen. So let me share a little bit more about each one, and maybe you can decide whether you want to invite one of the pens to join your analog, you know, analog life. So let me zoom in a bit. All right, let me start with the Twisby. So the Twisby. This is the Twisby 580. Twisby is a Taiwanese company. Um, and actually, they have lots of interesting like piston fills. They even have vacuum fills, really cool pens, huge ink capacity. And to me, Twisby 580 feels like a very dependable family member, um, a friend who's very down to earth to do anything. Uh, they are just dependable. So let's say I leave this capped for a while in a drawer. I don't pick it up for months, right? You know, sometimes with a certain friend or family member, life gets busy. You never see each other for like two years and then suddenly you pick it up again. And then you're like, wow, we can pick up exactly where we started. Um, and nothing is lost. So that's what the Twisby 580 feels like. The cap is really well insulated for the nib. That's why it really keeps the you know, ink wet. Um, this is a great one who's you know, down to try a shimmer ink. Shimmer inks have like little glitter particles that can clog other nibs, but I feel like because this keeps it fairly wet, I think this Twisby would be a great one. Dependable, family member, friend very down to earth it doesn't judge you it might not be the most beautiful like kind of resin on it but it has its own characteristic right especially this one it has that rainbow color um so it has a little bit of spark even though it's you know fully translucent here and you can see through it which is cool i do like that because like a friend, you, you can see exactly how much ink I have left when you need to re-ink it. Um, it's down to earth and up for anything. It just kind of works. All right. So that is the Twisby 580. And I also love that the Twisby 580, you can actually swap out the nib, which I do. This um, is an extra fine nib, but I've swapped it out with a medium nib. So it just has that flexibility. It's down to do anything. You can put kind of any ink in it. It just works um, when you need it to. So I really like that. And it has a huge ink capacity, which is awesome. You know, sometimes you need a long writing session. Here is my Pilot Custom A23. This is my favorite fountain pen. 
It's my favorite. Um, just the way it's balanced is really beautiful. It feels great in my hand. The nib size is just amazing. This is a number 15 nib. And this is in fine. Um, and I usually just keep this inked in black because this one feels like a great therapist. This is the pen I use when I'm going through some, you know, more difficult times or thoughts. And I just need a pen that feels great, that'll just work, huge in capacity. Allows me to have a great experience expressing myself. So that's the, I can't else, I don't know how else to describe it. I love this pen on the Maduri MD paper. That and this is with the Pilot Takesume ink. So I found like the golden combo for it and something just happens when I'm writing. I can write and write and write with this for so long. Um, and something just magically flows through sometimes you know with other pens i would get distracted i might do other. this one like i think i'm writing about something and then by a couple pages in um some other thoughts have come out so this one's very interesting the way it's balanced in the hand is perfect it's comfortable um there's no pen that balances quite like this one in my collection so and the gold nib is very divine so Pilot nailed this one. And the color of it, it just looks like a very dependable pen. It's like this amber color. It just looks like it knows, it knows what's up. It has life experience and it's here to guide you. All right. So this one is my Pilot Vanishing Point. You can hear the sound it makes. It, this is an extra fine, so it is a bit thinner. So Pilot Vanishing Point Decimo. And this one is an overachiever because an underachiever. So this one is an overachiever because it doesn't have a cap. It's retractable. Not many pens make that category. So automatically it is a bit of an overachiever in that it's trying to do most. Um, it's also a gold nib, so I do really like it. Um, because it has a bit of that springiness when I'm writing. However, it's also an underachiever, and I'll tell you why. The nib, or the ink capacity is so low, it's difficult to fill it up. Um, obviously, I cannot leave this out for months and months at end and just have it work, unlike the Twisby, right? You can see the Twisby cap is very, very um, insulated there. And so in that way, it's also an underachiever. And so this one reminds me of someone who's like doing really well, um, kind of peaked, and then is kind of just centering on that one aspect of its life and not really, you know, expanding on some other things. But the one aspect it is really good at, it is really good and it's convenient. So, you know, the Pilot Vanishing Point has a huge fandom out there. I do love this pen occasionally. And then for sometimes I just can't stand it, so. It's very fascinating. Um, I have mixed thoughts about this pen. It is perfect in certain instances, such as using it in my planner, because um, it gives me that fountain pen experience without having to really, you know, uncap, recap, and things like that. So I do really like the Vanishing Point Decimo, but it is an overachiever and underachiever. That's the personality. All right. Jin Hao. So this is my Jin Hao pen. And Jin Hao, 82. This is a cool girl. First, because I think the color looks very cool. You know, it's a cool tone, and also it just looks like a um, more feminine pen. So she's like the cool girl personality. Uh, she is adventurous. This is a pen I can take with me anywhere I need to go. Um, I'm not afraid of it breaking or anything because it likes to live life on the edge. It was only $4, so, you know, it, 
because a pen, you don't have to be so precious with it. You can actually use it. You can actually bring it with you and then see more things and have that kind of you know, vitality in your life. So I really like this, um, the personality of this pen. So very open-minded to travel. And it's a beautiful pen. So I think this is a great one. You know, people will see it and be like, oh, what's a fountain pen? You know, not many people use fountain pens anymore. So it could be a great conversation starter. And it's not too expensive. And it, and it works. Great nib. Comes with a converter. So, so yeah, these pens here are cartridge converter pens. Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This is my Sailor. Pro Gear Slim. So this personality, I am very impressed with this pen because it's very beautiful with the gold sparkles. This reminds me of that girl. Um, so, you know, just like that A student, A plus student. It's, it was beautiful and athletic, you know, all those things. Um, that kind of pen. Beautiful. Just a great companion uh, because I love how you know petite I feel in the hand with the you know even if you can post it which is really nice and there will always be people who want a sailor pen uh, they can put out any colorway and there will always be people who are interested so yeah I feel like they sailor just knows how to make a great pen um, the nib is reliable so it's beautiful reliable it doesn't have the same type of ink capacity, so this might be one of those, like, kind of feel like a little burnt out. No, you don't want to use it for pages and pages and pages at a time, but it's great, um, you know, for, like, small notes or small journal entries. So this is a great companion, too, and just looks amazing on the desk. All right, and this is my Muji pen. So my Muji aluminum pen, it does use the Western nib, and fine. So the Muji pen is very utilitarian. Utilitarian. Probably works like a normal job, you know, just probably. You know, just like a nine to five type of job um, in an office setting. It's kind of safe, but it gets the job done. And then it's a kind of looks almost like a scalpel. So it's kind of cool. And it's a minimalist. So whenever I'm debating on becoming a minimalist, um, I can have a good talk with this pen. So, all right. That is how I would describe my collection, which is very, um, I guess, quirky because I kind of have like, the, they seem to have little personalities. And those who have been into fountain pens for a while, you might understand what I mean. They all have their pros and cons, little characteristics of what I like, don't like, and just sometimes why you would pick up a certain pen at a certain moment. Um, that's always been kind of interesting to me because just because I pick up a certain pen um, based on my certain mood does not mean that pen is better. It's just they have uh, different energies. So this is my fountain pen collection. Uh, thank you for letting me share. I am curious, do you ever reach for a pen based on a certain mood or certain personality or even just like how you feel about the pen as um, a companion, especially if you've had a pen for a while. I think that's something that's been very interesting um, to me, just for me to discover. So thank you for letting me share that and let me know. All right. See y'all next time. Bye.